One of the girls I bartended with, Kelly Sharbro, uh, she was actually on Survivor Samoa. Um, and we always used to tease her about it <laughs> and give her crap. Um, but uh, she, uh, you know, we got to know each other pretty well. And uh, <clears throat> one day she was like, hey, you know, there's this new show coming up. I'm friends with the casting director. I think you would be great for it. You know, I, I really had no desire to be on TV. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't even have cable at the time. You know, I watch DVDs every once in a while. But um, I was like, all right, you know, check it out. And I just saw the premise for the show, and it looked exactly like something we'd be interested in doing. What, what spoke to you about it? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I mean, I felt like it was the type of expedition that I've kind of been preparing for my whole life without knowing it. Yeah. Um, you know, after after college, I went and traveled for three years, and I've always kind of been an adventure thrill seeker, um, and have, have done so with John. You know, all around the world, we lived in New Zealand together, in Australia. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I traveled around in Indonesia together, um, and the the other boys were the same way. We had the same mentality, um, and it just looked like an opportunity. I honestly thought we had a good chance of winning. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really know the prize. I didn't know any of the details, but I thought that um, we had the skills to to take it all the way. Tell me a little bit about the the guys on your on your team. Yeah. Um, so John, like I was saying, he's uh, he's been one of my best friends since uh, college. Um, we were actually we were in a fraternity <laughs> in college, and he was my my little brother. Um, so, you know, we, we've always had that kind of instant bond. He's just a crazy guy. He's one of the guys that, you know, would be the first one jumping off the 40 foot cliff, like <laughs> head first. He loves traveling. Um, just a real honest, genuine guy, a natural leader, yeah. um, which I knew we needed. Um, and then Taylor, uh, you know, Taylor's a little bit older. He's, he's 31. So he's kind of the, the old man of the group, but, uh, He's, um, you know, he just really got his wits about him. He's, um, he, he's, he's the type of guy that can go nuts and bolts. Like if you need to make something happen, he'll make it happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, I think, you know, having that extra age, I think he's got a, a certain uh, maturity about him that we, that we kind of needed as a group. You know, we wake up at four or five in the morning, someone comes around and wakes us up and we're generally sleeping in these kind of haphazard tents made out of like rugs. Sometimes they'll have cameras in the morning, so they'll be filming people getting up and talking and drinking coffee, doing whatever. Um, And usually the process between when you wake up and when you actually start the race, it's it's like four hours or so. Like it takes forever for everyone, the whole crew. I mean, there's like 200 crew members, so it takes a while for everyone to show up, get everything going. Before you start the day, you get like a packing list of exactly what you need. So they'll tell you how much water you need, what type of equipment you need. And you never know what you're going to be doing during the day. So you try, we would try to kind of guess by the equipment we would get. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, you know, if you get like, if you need your, um, your PFD, then you know you're going to be do- doing something in the water. Um, if you need your harness, you know you're going to be doing some repelling or some climbing. Um, so we would kind of just judge it based on, on what we needed, what cure we needed. I can't tell too much, but I mean, it was like, um, you know, the general, I think the most mayhem was from the animals for sure. Yeah. I, I, I never, (laughs) I never knew camels could get so big or so fast and were just so horrible to ride. I mean, those things were not meant to ride. I don't care what you say. Like. I mean, we were we were on some slow ones, but I mean, there's there's some massive, crazy dinosaur camels out there too. Are you worried at all about how you're gonna come across, or or or, or not? You know. Uh, you know what? People have asked me this, and it's I'm I'm actually not too worried. I mean, I'm sure we're not always gonna be portrayed in a positive light. You know, I mean, it's just how it is. A lot of it's obviously in the editing and. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I mean, what's what's done is done. It's in their hands. The contracts are signed, <laughs> you know, I, so there's not much I can do. So I, don't, I think, you know, worrying about how you're going to be portrayed, I mean, I think yeah. I mean, it just doesn't really get you anywhere. Um, I'm just excited to see it, you know. I mean, it's, uh, you know, throughout the race, you're not always seeing the other teams as well. So I'm excited, you know, we made friends during the show and we're actually going to get to see how they did, you know, see, see, all, they, they tell us these stories about their adventures during the day, but we wouldn't actually get to see them. So it's going to be interesting that when to see that come full circle.